Hello again, and welcome back to my playthrough of RLCraft, a mod pack for Minecraft. My name is Videosyncratic, and as you can see, today is a very bad day weather-wise in the village I am currently camping out in. Now, it's been quite a while since I actually recorded my last episode, which was about where we got attacked by raptors. It was a special event where Raptor Day it was quite entertaining, and I think I did pretty well. I still ended up dying though, but not the raptors, that's again skeletons, because skeletons in our aircraft are extra terrible. Now, it's such a bad day, I actually thought, honestly, that it was night, so I tried to sleep, but apparently I'm not allowed to because it's daytime. Not that it looks like it. So since the previous episode, I've just been doing a bit of inventory management off screen. I've gained a few levels, mostly just by cooking things and farming. I've realised in RLCraft you can see we get quite a lot just by farming. I'm not sure what exactly my goals are for this episode. I would like to go back into the tower again, just because I want to keep on levelling up. Hopefully, I'll be able to level up my offence and defence skills enough in order to equip better armour and arms. That would be good. But I think I'm going to craft a shield first, so I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so I've been looking through the crafting menu of some of these possible shields, and there's a very large number of them. So I think I'm going to try and craft something quite fancy. <laughs> Well, I'm no stranger to attacking those things now. I fought enough. Ooh, what's that over there? Is that a pheridon? Oh, I think it's a pheridon, a kind of gigantic lion type creature. I've never hunted one before, I've only ever seen them. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, if they all just come in this one line, and hopefully nothing will flank me. Or attack from the rear. Okay, there's a Aegis coming over to help. Although hopefully the Aegis won't get too close and I accidentally hit it instead. Oh, look at all that lovely experience. Anyway, I've decided I will deal with the shield in a moment, but there are monsters all around and it's a delicious experience. Oh, is that a trumpeteer skeleton I see over there? I believe it is. I hear zombies around here somewhere. Oh, in the house. I have to f say, the villages in this are an unusual mixture of old Mojang structures which aren't the best, like this one which is dark enough inside that, you know, zombies will spawn in there. But then also you get these very nice naturally spawning buildings like this great windmill. It's just it's quite a contrast between vanilla vanilla structures and ones added in, in the mob. So these frost weavers, these ice spiders, they look dangerous and I have a feeling they possibly would be, but they are also quite weak, so as long as I can kill them in time, that's what matters, I suppose. Anyway, I will see you the following morning. Good morning again. So, I have created a new shield, as you can see. It's just take a crude wooden shield, which is added in in this mod pack, and yes, I have an iron shield, which hopefully should be fireproof, because in previous episodes, I have had a great deal of trouble dealing with fire, fire breathing, fire shooting, just generally fiery mobs, so hopefully this should make it a little bit better. Right, I want the hammer at the ready. Uh, it's an entire floor of skeletons, which is just perfect. Okay, what's the best way to do this? First thing, I do need some dirt out so I can patch up the holes in the floor. Wait, where have they all gone? Oh, okay, they apparently keep on falling through the holes in the floor, which I am not going to complain about. Oh, okay, there's quite a few of them over there. 
hopefully they will have started fighting each other, which I think they have, because they accidentally shot each other. Okay, right, that's this floor taken care of. I'll just quickly grab the loot, or grab whatever I can. The hope is to gather enough heart dust in order to hopefully create more hearts for myself, like a, well, like a heart container from the Zelda series. So nine, nine units of heart dust creates a heart crystal, and I think nine of those Okay, this is bad, this is bad. Now it's going to shoot me in the back. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, there we go, it's dead. Cave spider. Right. Uh, apologies for this running away. It's mildly embarrassing, but at the same time, you have to make sure you don't die. Because my head is critical, as I thought it probably would be. Is it any better now? Health. Okay, it's slowly healing up. I do not want to be attacked in the meantime, so I think I'm going to go see what I can see out here. Yes, so I remember back in episode two, I actually fell down there and most of episode two was about getting out of that pit of doom. So um, I've realized I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory, so I think I'm going to quickly dump a chest out here and see if I can just stash some of the good stuff in there. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have used my canteen. I swear there must be blazers either above or below me. I also found out off camera that Yeti meat gives you resistance, albeit quite briefly, but still better than nothing. I, I don't understand, I swear. I said should mean if, if if dirt's falling from the ceiling like that in particles, surely you would expect or maybe that's just me reading too much into it. Oh. Ugh, that's a lot of them again. I also forgot while well I just realized while oh. I realized while cra crafting that chest that I actually have a shield now, so I need to remember to use it. Ooh. Hey, that's that blaze down. I see a skeleton around the corner. Yeah, that's him taken care of. Yeah. Oh. Okay, this is bad. I'm not sure. I think poison is probably very deadly in this. Okay, there's spiders all around, but that's this floor taken care of. No. Oh. <laughs> I do like the way they walk up walls. I really wish the spiders had that animation in vanilla Minecraft too. Oh, weakness. Um, body is weak. That is a problem. Should probably take care of that before I move on to the next floor. Okay, I'll give that some time to heal. Purple fire? Uh, oh. Ah, okay, there's, they're everywhere. Is that one down? Ah! Oh. Oh. Death from above. Right, well, this isn't going anywhere. Oh. I need to get rid of these. They just, there's no other way, two ways about it. Okay. Apologies, oh, I keep on vacillating between diff 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 completely different things, apparently, at the moment. Head. Definitely needs taken care of. Um, <laughs> that explains why I'm, I've got the slowness debuff, though, if my legs are injured. Okay, it appears that night is also setting, just to compound my troubles. Yeah. I think I'm going to call this tower the Tower of the Cave Spiders. 
Oh, is my head injured again? Goodness sake. Wait, why, why won't it die? Why won't you die? <laughs> Wait, what on earth? How am I on fire? What set me on fire there? Okay, there's something strange going on in this tower which I just don't understand. I'm also just burning through my healing materials like there's no tomorrow. If there's some kind of flame elemental down there. Oh. What on earth is that noise? Oh gosh. Uh. That, that, the fact that there's a special spider down there at least explains why it was taking so long to die. Did I even hit it? What is that outside, an elephant? It's just a regular one, that one. I hate poison. Well, I mean, that's just obvious, isn't it? Doesn't everyone hate poison? Because, of course, you are yourself a poisoner. So need to keep on monitoring my health, although I'm just being damaged so much. I don't actually think I know. I've run out of healing items too. How embarrassing. Okay, I'll, I'll use the Maka meat because I know it gives extra hearts, if only temporarily. Okay, there are a lot of them. Ugh. <laughs> I really should have expected that, but at the same time, these towers are hard. Okay, it is now the next day, and I am on the way to the tower again. I appreciate this may be suicide regarding what I'm wearing, but you have to try. I also realise I am slightly out of practice because it has, as I said, been a few days since I last played this. I should have, when I, I should have ducked out the tower and spent my experience points because I saw it just before I died, I actually had 17 levels, which would have gotten me pretty high up in the tree, I'm sad to say. I also took these charges along for the ride. Okay, there we go, all my stuff's just here. Okay, 11 levels is decent enough. I wanted to see what these charges do. Okay, right. You can actually use these. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> okay, that's that one gone. And my head isn't even injured, seemingly. Oh, I wanted to even set them on fire. Okay, I better not get too... I have to say, I am really quite enjoying these fire charges. Almost makes all that... all the pain those imps put me through. Okay, I see a special one there. I would... Rare Darth Skeleton Doom Skull. Withering and... Withering? Choking Skeleton? Well, I would rather not test my combat skills against that because, as we've just demonstrated, I have no combat skills. Oh. I was just running back to the town. I've just noticed there are three K spiders out here, including one which, well, including one which is a specialist one which just appears to be twirling around. I believe I picked my arrows up there, so hopefully. Okay, there we go. So that one dispensed with. Do I actually have enough room in my inventory? I can see them. 
Oh, there's that special skeleton as well. All right, that one, at least that one eventually got it. Now just lead it away from the tower. Wish I didn't miss that, miss it with the charge that time. Oh, it's nearly dead, right? Excellent. Well, those those special spiders and well, special mobs of all kinds, really. They seem to drop good loot, so at least there's that. I've been just re reorganizing my inventory and getting back into my real armor, and I've noticed I actually have quite a lot of heart dust now. So hopefully. Okay, I can create four of those, and I just need four more, and I can get a new heart, which would go a long way, I think. <laughs> I hope. I've also decided I probably need to really invest in, well, in getting some kind of animal companion. A pet, in other words. That might make all this combat that little bit easier. I now created this thing called a... where's it gone? There we go, a beast trait, but I have no idea what kind of beasts you can actually tame with this. Um, I would assume Chupacabra perhaps? So next time I see a Chupacabra I may attempt to use it on it, but there's the other problem is I have no idea how on earth you actually tame anything. <laughs> I mean, normally it's just what, right click on it with, with a with whatever your with whatever food item you have, but I don't know. There may be more steps to it in this mod for all I know. So I've just been doing a bit of cooking and farming because I've realized that actually both of those activities get you quite a few points in this, and points are important. Wrong button. Now what I want to look at are my skills, so both defense and attack are level nine. I would really like. I really still don't know what's the best. If it's better to have an even spread of skills or max out some, but I'm going to definitely. Okay, I need a lot more for defense, but I can also get attack up one level every time I get a little bit closer to some of these. I actually have one or I have a mining skill. I've got fossil digger, which gives you extra coal sometimes which is useful and that's actually available quite early on and I think from what I've seen it's the earliest available skill. Now I'm aware night is falling. Well, I can see an air elemental up there I think. Oh it's gone now. Either that was beyond the spawn range one of the two. So I'm aware it's nearly night but I do actually want to try and find a chupacabra if possible. So I may go out into the woods, like over here into the woods, and see what beasts I can find. Anything which can't be which can't be tamed will be well, will be hunted. It's always useful, regardless. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> right. For a minute I thought it it, it Yes, for a moment there I thought it had exposed an underground cave system, but a rather extensive one at that, but actually it's just because of the white chunks load in this. It's quite quite bizarre looking. Oh my goodness. Oh that thing looks unpleasant. It's definitely going to be aggressive, isn't it? Question is, how far will it stray away from water? Ooh. Bit of lag there I did not care for. Oh, there must be a hole of some kind down there, right? I can certainly hear it. I can see a trumpeteer skeleton on the other side of the lake as well. <laughs> okay. I only have a limited number of arrows, I'm sad to admit. Wow. Okay, those things, despite being colossal, they go down surprisingly easy. 
Let's see what they dropped. Looks like a shark tooth. Well, fish certainly. Oh, it must have been prismarine shards, right? I mean, I suppose that makes sense. Just raw fish and prismarine shards. Quite odd. Oh. <laughs> That nearly scared me more because I was worried it was a real skeleton instead of, well, trumpetier skeletons are real skeletons, I do apologise, but I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, this is this has been a good night, actually. So, yes, press rain and raw fish. I was going to say raw fish, this is... Alright, it may be loud, but it doesn't seem to be that, that deep either, although... I am going to get caught in the current and possibly drown, which is embarrassing. Okay. You know, I was worried I was hearing... What's that through there? Sorry, I'm getting very distracted tonight, apparently. Okay, I wanted to check out what this mob is, because it looks human. It's a witch. Should have known, but you know there's a lot of mobs in this, so who even knows? It's two of them. Go. I am actually too cold though. I'm also slightly injured, so I would quite like to check out that cave just in case there's anything interesting down there. But I think I'm going to go back and sleep just so I can regain some health. Although I just saw these frostbite spiders or frost weaver, sorry. Frostbite different games. They do actually weave cold webs. Oh. oh, and they spit as well. I didn't know that. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, share, and subscribe. My channel is still very young, and can do with all the help it can get in order to grow. Your support at this stage really means a great deal to me, so thank you so much for doing so. Additionally, if you'd like to talk to me, then please just use the comment section below. I would especially love to hear from you if you have any tips, tricks or pointers as to where you'd like me to go or where, I'd, where you'd like me to take the series. At the moment, I only intend on doing another two episodes, which should hopefully be released next week. Finally, I'm on Twitter, so you can follow me there if you want to have a better idea of my upload schedule, and also about what videos I would like to bring to the table in the near future. Again though, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video, if not beforehand. Ciao!